Hey, it's Alex here. Um, before I had a unboxing video of the JGPS90. It already looks different because I took the um, extended bear off and put my mock suppressor on. Um, I don't know what happened. The video file format did not work while uploading it to YouTube. Um, something went wrong while recording, I guess. So, I guess is the unboxing that's already unboxed. Anyways, this is everything that comes in the package. Your 9.6 volt, um, 1100 milliamp battery. And it was nice that they're on 9.6 instead of 8.4 volt. I did use, um, because a year ago I had my KSP90. <laughs> this JG is much better built and also, um, I don't know, I like JG's products. Um, they last for a year or two. Also, if you take good care of them, they'll last much longer. Um, if you don't like the internals sometimes, you could always just change those out. It's good for a base gun series, I guess. Barrel came to about here with it on there. As you can imagine, it stops around here. Um, quick tip for any flash hider that has holes like this. Put electrical tape around it and cover up these, um... I guess these openings, you get 10 to 20 more FPS out of um, your airsoft gun. <laughs> Came with the trickle charger. I don't know, I don't mind these, they work fine. Um, just don't overcharge it. Smart chargers are better, but you don't necessarily need them. You want the speed loader, your 68 um, round mid cap magazine. Um, shoots very nicely, it shoots much more accurate than I thought it would. Um, top's made out of metal, and here the body is made out of plastic, and my mock suppressor is a positive and negative threaded, um, mock suppressor, and um, the P90 is negative threaded. So, um, like I said, when you get this, put electrical tape over it, that's a quick fix, or a quick mod, and on your urn site here, try to line that up. Um, what I'm gonna do is paint that tip white, the front slate. It's blurry. But yeah, you get the idea. Oh, I also noticed on the cast version there wasn't a middle screw. I had one here and one there. But not a middle one, so this is better built. I don't know, the plastic's better, or the polymer, I should say. It's your real ejection port for the real steel. And your battery space is cramped, but the battery fit, small types fit fine. It's gonna shoot well, it's accurate, like I said. I don't know what else to say. I would have a shooting test, but I can't at the moment. So, I mean, that's all you get with it. And, um, I like it so far. Uh, if you have any requests or anything, I'm probably gonna use this in my next grid code video. I don't know if it'll be first person or not, probably not. But also I am going to slap on a compact 4x32 sniper scope on the top. And you can use this gun as a DMR. So, I don't know if that's about it. I'm going to stop battling. Uh, yeah. I don't know what else to say, really. I mean, like I said, your farm ends metal, plastic, and their polymer. Shoots well. Mm, has a good rate of fire. Oh yeah, when you do first get your airsoft gun, always, always, always clean out your barrel because it came with a cleaning and jamming rod. Get a piece of small piece of toilet paper, and then get your soak on spray for airsoft guns. Clean that out because it got factory grease on it. That is green and a little black. Also, it didn't come with a manual. It came with all this air splat stuff. Word from air splat because I don't know the shit. I wish ships faster. Evac's terrible. I like Evac, they have nice shit, but mm, they always mess up orders. I know plenty of people who ordered from Evac and um, they went on back order or they never got their product or something's wrong with it. So, I like Air Splat. Also, ordering from eBay, um, get things cheaper there too, but Air Splat um, had this instead of being 130 bucks, got it for 97 because they had a coupon code, so thanks, Air Splat. So like I said, rate, comment, subscribe, any questions, leave them below, and um, hopefully I'll be using her 
in an upcoming video soon. See you.